So let's discuss the observer design pattern. So it's also a behavior design pattern that you alter it and define your 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 behavior of, of your class. It's it's a subscription mechanism. Imagine yourself. Definitely, you are subscribing to a, a certain YouTube channel, and when that channel uploads a new video, you will you will be notified. The, the same one. Uh, the same thing is also on Facebook. If you comment on a certain uh, thing, uh, you will be replied and get notified. And also as an email or a YouTube. So it's a subscription mechanism. So everything you will be you are the observer. You are observing something and. And when that happened you will be get notified in unreal engine they use the event dispatcher so event dispatcher you can create event dispatcher i will show you in an example so uh, this is an, an example from uh, epic online uh, documentation saying the boss is died and who is caring about the boss is died do this stuff do this stuff activate an explosion and uh, spawn an audio or transition to uh, to another level or doing other thing other things so this is the event dispatcher inside uh, unreal engine you can create that very easily and will uh, and i will show you in this course how to do this uh, in c++ it's more different it's uh, declaring a delegate uh, the name is different it's declaring a delegate f on boss die delegate they create this this is from the also from the epic website uh, it's a preprocessor it's de de declaring a dynamic multicast delegate for params and and this is the name of the delegate so it's uh, they all the names they prefix with f also the delegate they prefix this with the f and these are the four params so these are declaring a dynamic multicast delegate inside inside c++ and also i will show you in the course later on we go to the c++ we will create uh, create a delegate dynamic multicast delegate another one is uh, the unreal engine anim notify so um, uh, anim notify i can inside the anim animation montage i will create an animation montage from my animation and make a notify so as long as this timeline go to this anim notify or for, for example on this specific timeline uh, it will fire this anim notify and for example playing a sound or playing a particle effects or uh, doing some certain thing so uh, and this will be called in the animation blueprint and you will call it very easily so for example i can I, d I did this for for uh, another game i working on uh, i have a character that can attack and and he can uh, attack the player but uh, but he ha uh, he holding a collision uh, a weapon collision and the collision by default is uh, is disabled it said collision enabled is it's disabled and when he waving his uh, his uh, animation at a certain point on the timeline it will be activated uh, saying okay uh, make the collision attack the player on on this on this certain timeline okay get notified activate the collision and attack and uh, apply damage to the player this is one example i can show you for ex uh, for example uh, dynamic multicast delegate also i have used this in another object uh, in another game i am working on for example i have an uh, ai characters around uh, roaming in the in the leveling and patrolling and when they see the player they attack the player uh, and and keep killing him and playing these animations certain animation but when he died they go back to the state of of patrolling so uh, they will be get notified uh, saying hey uh, the player be, has died go back to the patrol animation i, I get him notified it and go back he also observing the player he if he's dead go back to the patrol uh, patrol uh, path animation so these are examples i will show you in the engine so in unreal engine it's super easy as, as i told you you can create this uh, observed design patterns as an event dispatcher for this project i made two event dispatchers on player died and on the player moved so on the player died this will be the player have has been killed so he can he he no longer can shoot he he's no longer is alive and he can't move and call this call on a player died and whoever cares about me 
will fire his function so who will care about this this will be called call just call player that it's an event dispatcher so who are caring about me is the the game mode the game mode on begin play i'm ca i'm getting the player character and cast it to my specific which is this one and bind this as this event as this function it's also considered as this event is also considered as a function so as soon as possible the player died okay after two the two delay uh floats i will show the game over screen and it will pop up so the player has been died no i no need to talk to the game mode just fire this one and whoever cares about this will be fired this function imagine you have not just the game mode another class is caring about and waiting about the player is dead is he dead then he do some certain things he uh, now this game mode is the observer he observing the player when he's dead okay show the game over screen another example is about on player moved i use that in this section on on he when he's click on he when when he successfully can click and can move i called this one and whoever cares which will be the revenant enemy the revenant and uh, the revenant enemy i will show you uh, this code will be will be explained i promise on event pl uh, game, begin play the same one as the game mode get the player character and use this and bind that to this event which this is considered as also as a function it's a custom event but it's also called a function so bind that when the player moved when the player moved this will be called and who is carrying is the enemy revenant so he will what will he do he will flip he will flip he will flip his rotation in the R. so these are the examples of the observer design patterns and that i will be used as an event dispatcher in c++ i will show you later on we can use a declare dynamic multicast delegate and it's the same thing but in the in uh, blueprints it's so easy it's going there event dispatcher and you create event dispatcher and just simply drag and and call and bind and unbind an event and assign so it's very very easy and useful so this is the observer design pattern in unreal engine 5. if you have fun with this tutorial i have made a udemy course on how to make a turn-based puzzle game with unreal engine using blueprints and c++ the link in the description below